Leo, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your patience and waiting for your reading. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get your party started. See what's going on. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This may be vice versa. The messages may not be for you right now. They could be for you in the future. That's how Tarot works, okay? Let's see what's happening, okay? So you're feeling stuck and Spirit is telling you to just kind of you know, weigh your options, look and decide what you want to do. You're feeling kind of overwhelmed, exhausted, perhaps. There could be a lot of conflict in your life. Um, I don't know. It almost feels like you're wanting a new beginning here. You know, you're wanting to move forward. Some of you may be thinking about traveling. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, but, you know, Spirit is saying you can overcome these challenges, but there's something you have to cut out of your life. Uh, sometimes you have to make some head over heart decisions. I feel like for some of you, you're starting to guard and protect your energy a lot more. Uh, you could be kind of, you know, just trying to figure things out at this time. You're wanting to close a chapter, chapter, but again, some of you I'm getting here that you want to travel halfway across the world and start something new. Um, could be a new job, a new career path, uh, could be anything. You could have had an offer as well from a distance. Okay, there's something that you're wanting to let go of, but you're, you're for some reason feeling stuck. But again, Spirit is saying with the King of Swords here, there may be something you have to cut out. You may have to cut, you know, um, people, places, and things. So there's something here that, you know, you need to think about logically is what I'm getting here. I definitely can see that you're looking for a balanced, equal give and take. Some of you are guarding and protecting yourself because maybe you feel like your person's giving to more than one person. And th what's interesting, though, is you have the Wheel of Fortune. So major arcanas means major life-altering changes. So there's something that is going to be a turning point in your life. And I feel like once you make the decision to make some head-over-heart decisions, the universe is saying that that's when you will be able to overcome challenges and move forward. Okay? Uh, some of you may be... Um, getting advice or guidance from an attorney uh for some of you that's not gonna be for all of you could be you know guarding and protecting your money i'm getting as well for some of you here but either way spirit is saying that there are challenges here that you can overcome there is something that you need to let go of that's been weighing you down for a long time it could be a commitment for some of you here or the thoughts of a commitment okay but patience and timing is at play here especially with temperance and the wheel of fortune which indicates you know there there's something here that that we need we need to have the patience for but it's also a period of healing so there may be something that once you cut cut loose from you, you're going to need a period of healing like spirits telling you like basically let something go but you're going to need some healing time like don't go rushing into anything here yeah so spirit's advice right off the bat is take things slowly look at others viewpoints okay and don't allow yourself to be stuck okay so it's about thinking outside the box moving slowly being careful being patient and uh you know don't overthink things is what i'm getting some of you are perhaps overthinking everything so let's go ahead and see what's going on. This is the double decker vintage deck, the Zolar deck from the 1960s and the 1970s. So for those of you that are brand new, these are very old. <laughs> let's see what's happening. Yeah, so we have come up with the five of wands again, this double clarification. So this is a 1970s deck, okay? So it's saying the same thing. Yes, there are challenges and I feel like it's breaking your heart or breaking somebody's heart. There could be jealousy, arguments, disagreements here. What is this heartbreak, this, this disagreements? Because somebody's holding back. Okay, so you or this somebody could be like, you know, keeping everything to yourself here. And it's creating a lot of jealousy or conflicts. One or the other of you could be setting boundaries. So this could definitely be somebody you're you're needing to let go of or they're letting go of. You're feeling this distance. You're feeling these down boundaries being set. You or this person wants a new beginning. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, but I also have Sagittarius. I have Aquarius. Of course, I have you and Scorpio. And I have Cancer energy here as well. Okay. What are they holding back? Who's this person with the four pentacles? What's being held back here? Okay, somebody's not being patient. Okay, uh, somebody's tired of being patient. Yeah, 
Yeah, somebody's heartbroken, they're not healed. Somebody's not healing, that's what I'm getting. Somebody is not healing, okay? In a marriage or commitment here, Maybe somebody you've been together with for a long time. You're thinking about letting go of. There's chaos or arguments. You know, you're wanting to close this chapter and move forward towards a new beginning. Definitely somebody setting boundaries here. It's like, a, you know, I'm heartbroken here. I'm tired of being patient. Somebody's tired of being stuck in this situation. So it's either you or this person. Let's go ahead and get their energy on the other deck, okay? Quite often I pick up the other person's energy, but it depends who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from. So take what resonates again and leave what doesn't. It's not a personal reading. Personal readings are open, though, at shacy.com. You can check that out. Down below in the description box is everything you could ever want, okay? Hit the more button. It'll open up the description area. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords. This is about truth, clarity, a breakthrough perhaps in communication, but it's also the sword we use to sever. What is this Ace of Swords about? Ooh. This could be your person telling their truth and then that brings down the tower. The truth brings down the tower or somebody needs to speak the truth for a breakthrough to happen for the tower to drop. So whatever foundation has been steady for a long time is is ending once the truth is spoken. Okay, there could be jealousy and arguments here over somebody holding back or setting boundaries, wanting to move forward, wanting to let them go or the situation go. What is this tower? That's Scorpio energy and Libra Aquarius Gemini energy. Ooh, that I want to create a new beginning, Ace of Wands. Somebody is going to speak the truth. I want a new beginning. I want to create something new. I want to let this go. Somebody's been holding this back for a long time. They're running out of patience. They need to speak up. And that could be happening sometime soon here with that tower. Queen of Wands. This could be yourself or a Sagittarius, Aries. Oh, yeah. We're setting boundaries, okay? Uh, there's a lack of trust here. This is somebody that doesn't trust you or you don't trust them, okay? Yeah, because they feel like, you know, you or they are giving to more than one person here. And it's leaving your situation, your connection, your relationship, whatever it is, in limbo here. Yeah. So what I'm getting is that, again, Hangman has shown up here twice. We need to look at each other's perspectives. Don't allow ourselves to be stuck. We need to speak our truth here in order to kind of be set free and decide what we want to do. Somebody definitely wants a new beginning. There is a new beginning being had here, okay? I got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords, okay? Somebody has been kind of at this point of indecision for far too long. So what happens is the tower comes in to kind of hit the reset button because you can only stay indecisive for so long before you start to argue or disagree or things start to happen because, you know, you can only stay stuck for so long. You can only carry this burden for so long before you're, you're quite ready to explode, right? That's what I'm getting. Yeah, nine of swords because somebody can't sleep or function properly at night because they're, they're consumed with either guilt or worry, stress anxiety okay they're like unsure of which direction to go and so what's going to happen here is i feel like somebody's going to kind of explode pretty soon that's either you or whoever you're dealing with okay we're going to get the mutual energies in a minute but i'm also going to get some guidance and advice messages so you can choose which in order which message in order you are meant to receive meaning which one you feel called to the strongest versus the second versus the third. And those are the messages you are meant to hear. So keep in mind which one you felt drawn to first, second, and third. And we'll pull them at the end of the reading. I want to go ahead and get the mutual energies and the tarot charms. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's see. What are the mutual energies between Leo and their person? How are they both mutually feeling toward each other and their connection? What do we need to know? Don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I really appreciate it. 
This is a Shacy Prism Tarot deck. This is my exclusive deck. It's very easy to use. So if you ever want to check that out, that also is in the description area below. Look at all three fell out at once. Yeah. So it definitely shows up here. You know, the mutual energies between you and this person is you both have options. You're both kind of confused about which direction this connection's going in. And it's creating a lot of confusion. And you're both kind of seeking support, maybe, you know, from outside sources. Um, which is creating a level of conflict okay and you're both meant to go through a spiritual awakening here with the tower um and the spiritual awakening message here and again that's like hitting the reset button because again spirit is saying you know shift or be shifted you need to make a decision or the universe will make it for you and that comes out in each other when you can you know again only only carry these burdens for so long before somebody's ready to really explode okay and it's about being truthful, being clear. Again, that's like the Ace of Swords here where we show that we need to speak up. We need to speak up in order to move forward, in order for this chariot to go towards our rightful place, like with who we're meant to be with or what we're meant to do. We have got to speak up. Otherwise, things will never change. And again, that's what the tower is all about, right? That's about, you know, making things move forward because you can't you you can you can't stay stuck forever so maybe this this foundation this home this family this marriage or this commitment was was really solid at one point but it's reaching the breaking point now is what i'm is what i'm seeing so let me know if that's you or the person you're dealing with okay let's go ahead and um see what the tarot charms say boy this name's coming up a lot some of you could be dealing with somebody named sean or your sean or Sean's coming towards you in the future. That could be. We do have a new beginning here. We have the name Jill. Can you see that? The name Jill and McGill and Kathy. Okay, so somebody's been sweeping things under the carpet for too long. So it's kind of like we can't do that anymore. Now we've got to face this. We've got to face the music. Oh, my God, I just heard that. We've got to face the music. We've got to speak our truth. There's the plane. So somebody wants to travel or move or have this new beginning is what I'm getting. And the problem is, is this is all hidden right now. So we need to speak up again with that ace of swords. Somebody's very stubborn, though. Somebody's been kind of st silent and stubborn and hasn't been opening up here. They've been keeping a lot to themselves. But once provoked here, um, this rhino is going to charge and it, I feel is going to blurt out some kind of truth or some something's going to happen here to where everything changes. Um, and it's interesting because we have the moon with the mountains. You see what, what this person is afraid of is what's on the other side of that mountain. If I decide to, to shut down this chapter or I move forward, like I have no idea there with the moon twice, what to expect on the other side of the mountain once I cross it. So somebody's fears are stopping them from climbing that mountain to, because they, they don't know what's on the other side. So it's a fear of, the, of unknown, right? And that's why somebody's kept sweeping, kept sweeping things under the carpet was for that reason. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn or somebody uh, has strong Capricorn in their chart. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and get your messages. Leave me comments. Let me know how this resonates for you. One, two, three. Are you ready to hear the messages? First message. Let go. Let go of negative people and toxic beliefs. Your time on earth is precious. Invest it wisely. And be mindful of who you spend time with. So be mindful of who you give your energy to, okay? Energy is precious, you know, and somebody here, quite honestly, is exhausted. Ten of Wands, they're exhausted. It can be that you and this person argue like all the time or, you know, you could be having a sneak peek at, at another couple or a family or this could be your own family that argue all the time and get involved in your business. It could be that as well. We have Shine Bright. It's never a mistake to give of yourself. Some will take it for granted. Others may take advantage of it. Do not allow bad energies to overpower your light. Okay, so again, it's about setting necessary boundaries so that you can have an equal give and take is what I'm getting. Don't let people get involved in your business is what Spirit is saying. Something needs to change here. And so that's what the tower is going to do. It's going to bring about a massive change. Whatever you wish, when you lessen the importance of problems and suffering, life will swing back into balance. Stop the struggle and feel peace. The world responds to you. Okay? So I feel like Spirit is saying, 
Don't focus on the problems and suffering that you have. Try to focus on the peace and the love that's within you and that you can share with others and only share it with those who appreciate your time, okay, and vice versa. Again, that equal give and take. We all need that balance in our lives in order to, you know, progress forward in a positive way. And it's not always easy and not everybody's always going to understand. But, um, and I mean, sometimes you're going to give more and sometimes the other person has to give up more. It's not an equal, all, always 100%, you know, you give 50 and I give 50. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. But as long as you're both putting in the effort and not one's always putting in more, more effort than the other, then that's a healthy balance. And that's what I'm seeing here that you're needing to create. And sometimes, you know, uh, things have to shift and be massively changed before, um, and things have to come down like this tower before things can actually move towards a positive, positive growth. And that's what you're wanting. That's what I'm seeing here with the Ace of Pentacles. You're wanting positive growth. So I feel like you can have it, but you're going to need to make some head over heart decisions in order to accomplish that. Somebody's going to have to speak up here. Okay. And it will change life as you know it. And you may not know what's on the other side of the mountain. But if we always knew what was on the other side, we always knew what to expect. Well, that wouldn't be any fun either, would it? And we're all here to learn life lessons. And when the wheel of fortune comes up, that means that you can either have good luck or bad luck. But timing is on your side. And spirit is telling you to, to be patient and to kind of keep your, your emotions intact because I definitely feel like somebody here is ready to explode, okay? All right, much love and light. And subscribing is free. Like I said, donations are down below if you want to make a donation to the channel. Never expected, always appreciated. I will see you all again next time. And I hope you have an amazing weekend or whenever you hear these messages is when you are meant to hear them. Bye for now.